everyone, and thanks for joining us for our teaser of our upcoming virtual event, Crazy for Crosshairs, with our fabulous educator, Diane Russell. And she's here today to tell you what's going to come with this upcoming, what's going to be in this updating upcoming class, and learn all the function you can get out of all the different crosshair rulers we have, which really can create amazing designs with real simple technique. Take it away, Diane. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. This is going to be such a fun class. As you know, the crosshair rulers are the whole reason that we can get such precise designs on a domestic machine. It's all due to the crosshair rulers. And So Steady has a lot of different types of rulers. And I am here to just give you a little taste of what we're going to be doing in the two hour class that we're going to be having. We're going to be showcasing every single ruler that So Steady makes. We have our most popular, which is an eight point. As you can see, I have them all. We have our most popular, which is an eight point ruler. It has eight slots and that's how we mark our fabric. We can also turn the ruler because you see all the little etched markings. We can do 16 rotations. We can do 32 rotations. It's just incredible what we can do. So this is the eight point ruler and we're gonna be using that. We're also going to be using the five point ruler. And this one is one of my favorites because it's not symmetrical, it's asymmetrical and I absolutely love it. So this has five points. I'm gonna show you how to use five points, 10 points, um, 15 rotations. It's going to be phenomenal. And I have a lot of samples to show you today. We also have the six point ruler, which is another one of my favorites. This one, we can do six rotations, 12 rotations, 24 and on and on. And this one comes in two different sizes. So you have a smaller one that is great if you're traveling and taking classes. And then we have a 12 and a half. My absolute most favorite ruler is this one. How special is this? This is a curved six point ruler and we can get beautiful, graceful curve lines. And again, we can add six rotations, 12, 18, 24, and so on. We also have these sweet little mini crosshair rulers in the five, the six, and the eight. And I'm going to be showing you how you can use some of our smaller templates and put them in with these adorable little rulers. They're great for when you're doing a cornerstone on a quilt, or if you're doing a smaller block. These rulers can also be made to use on a larger block. So they're small, but you can extend the lines out with them. So you can use them, you know, if you have a 12 inch block that you're quilting, they're a great little asset to have. So we're going to be showing you how to use every single one of the rulers that So Steady makes. And I'm going to show you a few of our samples. And the sky is the limit with the samples. I really had to scale back um, because there's so much you can do that I had sample upon sample. So I'm going to show you some of them now. Just to give you an idea, this is, first let me tell you about this. This is our grid glider. We also have another glider that doesn't have the one inch grid marks. This one I use a lot for piecing. You can see down here where it's got all of my lines, my quarter inch. If you're a garment sewer, three eighths, five eighths. So this is one grid glider that I have I also have the one that is totally green and that only has a tiny hole 
cut out the size of the ruler foot. That's on my other machine. I have two machines I'm very fortunate to have. So I have um, big tables and the grid gliders on both. That's something that's important and we'll get more into that for the class. Um, let me show you some of the samples. So this one is a sample of this. It's the spin effects number 14. And this is using, I'm going to just adjust the camera a little. This is using the five point crosshair ruler. And with this one, I put in 10 rotations. Then we have same exact ruler. This one has, this is using the six point. And with this one, I put in 12 rotations. So you can really see how you can get different looks from the same ruler just based on your crosshairs. So that is one of my favorite rulers, these Spin Effects 14. In fact, I have it right here and I will show it to you. It is a great template. So spin effects 14, this one happens to be seven and a half inches. And I use a lot of spin effects rulers, especially for my classes, because I absolutely love all the different looks you can get from one ruler. You can get different looks depending on which side you're putting the ruler on. So let me, you're probably saying, what is she talking about? Let me give you an example. This here is, I used the five point ruler on this and I put in 10 rotation lines. And this ruler is the spin effects 12. And you can see, let me just back up. See how it's different at the top than it is at the bottom? Well, on this particular sample, I will show you how to switch it out so you can get a totally different look using the different crosshairs. So that's one way to show you. This one is another. This is a five point ruler that I used. This one, same ruler. Look how different that is. That has got 20 rotations. And just look how beautiful that is. And if you're um, familiar at all with our template quilting method, this would lend beautifully to the template because you have all these gorgeous lines that you can cut out. And I'll show you um, a template sample just so you can see what I'm talking about. But this is using the same ruler, the five point, but you're using it with 20 rotations and it gives you a total different look. We also have same thing, different look, same ruler, spin effects 12. So that's using a six point and that gives you a different look. And then we have one that is a 12 rotation with the six point. And we're using two different spots on the ruler. So you get a totally different look. I love my classes to be showing you a lot of different things that you can do with one ruler. That's something that's really important to me because I understand that the rulers are an investment and they are an excellent investment. So I want to show you how to use the crosshair rulers to your best advantage so that you're getting everything out of them that you possibly can. That's something that's very important and especially with this class because we have so many crosshairs rulers and they can be overwhelming if you don't know what to do with them. So that is why I developed this class. This is another stunning one. This is using the eight point ruler and doing 16 rotations. And isn't that a beautiful design? I just, I love the graceful lines of it. 
It is so stunning. And it's using, these are all using the same ruler, but it's all in how you mark your crosshairs and where you put your lines. And this is what you will get all different looks from them. So totally, totally worth it. Here's another one, same ruler, but this is using our eight point crosshair. And I think our eight point crosshair, um, and Sarah, Sarah can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's probably one of the most popular crosshairs to get. Is that correct, Sarah? Uh, the I know eight, that was the first ruler I got. Yeah, the first uh, crosshair ruler available was the eight point style in the 12 and a half inch size. And then we introduced a smaller eight and a half inch, which a little more compact for travel. And then we also have our minis, which are great for travel. They're just a little four and a half inch square. But and then now we have the five point style, the six point style the spiral styles in six and eight point and our ultimate ones which have 24 and 32 point so if you're doing lots of rotations all the time sometimes it's worth just buying that 32 ultimate one and there you go yeah they're they're great and they're absolutely beautiful um if you are doing quilting now and you're doing your free motion ruler work, you may already own one of our crosshair rulers because most people do get one ruler when they're getting their um, template sampler set. So this class, I designed it to show you what the other crosshairs can do. That way you have an idea of what rulers may, what crosshair rulers may suit your style or suit what you would like to do with them. Here's another example of a beautiful same ruler that we've been talking about, the Spinifex 12, but a totally different look. So that's why we I designed the class and I'm hoping that everybody wants to take it because it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot more samples for you to see. Right now, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to do a sample. I'm going to do a quick um, sample and show you using one of the rulers what we can do with it. But I just want to show these again because they are so different and they are all based on the different rulers the different crosshair rulers that we can use. And you can add to your stash. And I'm sure you, this one, I did not take the um, ironing. I didn't iron off all the uh, marks yet. So we're gonna start and I'm gonna show you just a really quick from scratch what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take one of the rulers and we're going to, I'm going to be showing you how to mark everything up. And then we are going to do a little bit of sewing while we're here. I love to sew. I get up at 4.30 in the morning, which I know sounds absolutely insane, but I get up at 4.30 in the morning so that I can sew a little before I go off to my other job. So it's it's what keeps me balanced. So I'm gonna show you really quick. We're going to use the, let's see, that's the eight point. We're not gonna use that one. You're, we're gonna give you a taste of one of the different rulers to use. I think we will use this five point. I really like this five point ruler and this comes in the 12 and a half inch size and it's absolutely great. And like I told you before, this is one of my favorites because it is not symmetrical. It is totally asymmetrical. So I'm going to lay that down on my table and I am going to take a charcoal liner marker, which the charcoal liner lays down a very thin line of chalk 
and it has a wheel that fits perfectly in our creases, in our little slots. So I'm gonna go around and I am going to mark five rotations on this. Then I'm gonna just tap a little into the center hole so that I can put an X in the center so I know exactly where my center is because I'm gonna turn the ruler and I'm going to use the etch lines that are there for reference. And I'm going to lay in another set of lines. So then this one is going to have 10 lines. We'll start with 10 lines for today. Just flip it around, mark it well, and you are done. There we go, 10 lines. So let's look and see which ruler I want to use today. I think we're going to use the Spinifex 14. We're going to give that one a shot. So as you know, we have the five point ruler. We have 10 rotations. And actually, I think instead of using that, we are going to use this ruler, which is the Spinifex 11. Let's try that one. We're just trying it off the cuff. So I'm going to drop my needle right into the center position. And I'm sure you've heard this many times, but if you have a speed control on your machine, set it at medium speed. If you do not have a speed control, we will be talking more in the class about the wonderful speed control um, gadget for any loss of any other word that So Steady is now selling. And it's absolutely wonderful. I use it on my other machine that does not have a speed control and it's fabulous. So we're going to put this so you can see it. And I think we're going to do this. So as you can see, this is the top of my ruler. This is the bottom. Normally I would sew this way. We're going to shake it up. I'm going to sew in the opposite direction. So I'm using my crosshair ruler or my crosshair markings. And I've got my north and my south down. And I'm going to hold my threads in place line everything up. And I have to tell you, I have a very special person here with me in my studio today. My son, Brian, came home. I have not seen him in nine months because of the pandemic, because we live in different states and it wasn't safe to travel. And he just drove home this afternoon and he is here with me now. And I am so excited to have him here and also so excited for him to see me doing my thing live. So I'm gonna hold my threads, I'm gonna sew at medium speed, and I'm going to hug the edge of my template. I'm gonna speed up my foot just a little, and we're gonna go back to the center, and then I'm gonna move it and I'm gonna make sure it's all lined up, my north and my south line. Let me just read you my camera. And I'm just gonna hug it and go around again. And you'll be able to see what this looks like. I haven't done this particular template with the um, 10 rotations. So I'm anxious to see what it's gonna look like too. This is what I love to do, and this is something that I'll be teaching you, how to just let yourself go and play, and don't be hung up on if things are perfect or not. Just have a good time and experiment. And when you experiment, that's when you discover some of the coolest designs. I'm gonna teach you how to do designs. I'm also going to be teaching you how to design 
first on paper and then on fabric. So that's something else to look forward to with this class is it's also going to be part designing and part sewing. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm almost done here. I'm going to finish this design out so you can see what it looks like. And also I'm going to show you a couple of things with the template method. Because with the template method, you can do a lot of cutting away and it will show up. It will, um, it's going to be different designs that you can cut away with template. And these crosshair rulers really lend themselves well to that. Brian, can you go in the living room? There's a pile of my template that I did and bring those in. I wasn't planning on showing you that today, but I'm excited to do that. So I'm just going to keep going around and I could have switched this template out. I could have put in a different template, but I'm anxious to see what it's going to look like with the 10 designs, the 10 rotations. because this is new for me too, and I love it. And I went a little off there, but that's okay because I'll be able to go back and fix that. And I'm sorry that this is jumping. I apologize. It will not be jumping when I teach the class. I promise you that. I have, um, my cousin is working on making a stand that will hold my uh, recorder so I won't have it hooked up to my sewing table. Okay, last one. And then we're going to see what this looks like. Now, the amazing thing with this ruler is we can also go back and lay in more lines. So I'm just going to cut this off so that we can take a look and see what it looks like. And if I wanted to go back, I could go back and I could put in more rotations. Oh, that's a really neat design. I like that. So with this design, you have a lot of secondary designs and that's what would lend itself also to the template method. So I'm going to show you real quick what you can do with the template method. And this is using different crosshairs. This I used a crosshair and I think I used a 16 point crosshair on this. And with this template method, what you do is you actually have four layers. So you have, here's another one. This is using artisan curves. So with the template, you have your back layer, you have your batting, you have your peekaboo fabric, which is the batik, and then I have the top fabric, which happens to be the white. And you cut away your design. So this can be used very easily with all the different crosshair rulers that I'm going to be showing you. Just to also whet your appetite a little more, for your top layer of your fabric, you always use a fusible web. Now, these two are already fused together. That's why I can't pull them apart. You always use a fusible web. And the most exciting thing is so steady just came out with their very own fusible web. It's called Templi Fuse. And I have to tell you, I have used probably every fusible web on the market, and this is far superior. It holds everything down beautifully. Even the small intricate cuts that you make when you do the Templi, it is a absolute dream to work with and I highly recommend it. Um, I have 
a couple, I have like three of these, um, comes all rolled up for you. And it's definitely far superior. You can wash everything. You don't have to worry about if it's going to fray or not because there is no fray. So that's just a little taste of what we'll be doing. Um, there will be some samples with the Templi method. And just to give you a little, just whet your appetite a little. So let's go over the rulers one more time. Sarah, how are we doing for time? Um, we're definitely good for time. And there's a couple questions. The first really quick one, that uh, spin effects that you just quilted out, was that the, which number was that? That was, hold on. I have such a bad memory. That was spin effects 14, mm. a seven and a half inch. Perfect. And yeah, all their spin and effects. I apologize in. for my hands. I'm, I painted, I work with senior citizens during the day and I painted with them today and I forgot to put on gloves. So my hands aren't looking too great. I don't know. The pink Any looks other bad questions work. that uh, have come in? Let's see. We wanted to discuss that. Um, but before we get, there's, uh, I think, just a couple other questions. But before we get to that, I do want to remind everyone, and I did put it in the posts, be sure to like this video, leave a comment, or share it uh, from that Westerly Design page for a chance to win. We're going to be giving away a free admission into this class. Ooh. So that's going to have that's a high value prize right there. So be sure we'll select a winner as the time gets closer. We'll notify you either, you know, via the platform um, or we may post it on Facebook, but we'll send the word out, whoever wins. But be sure, like, share, comment, get the word out, and that'll increase your chances of winning. And so we can uh, spread the word and let folks know, gosh, all this, this great, beautiful work that these crosshair squares really let you do with such good symmetry and consistent results. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't realize you were giving that away. Yeah, the that's box of text me, like, be sure you mention it. I was like, oh, absolutely. Um, and it looks like the other question, we do have a lot of folks that are, the, the spiral crosshair has oh. high interest. So when that's featured in the class, I know that will be something a lot of folks are looking forward to seeing. And uh, we did have one quick question just regarding using like the technique you just did with that Spinifex 14, quilting on a larger quilt. Um, I know in the class you'll probably mention it, you know, how easy is it to move about the the quilt? Sorry. Oh, no problem. Sarah, are you there? I'm here. Are you there? Sarah. Can you hear me now? Sarah. I can, I can hear you, Diane. Well, hold on, folks. Let's see if Diane's... Microphone comes back. Diane, can you hear us yet? Uh oh. I lost her. I can hear I you. When stuff like this happens. I'm going to try and go and. Oh. And we'll be right back, folks. It looks like she may just need to log back in real quick. Um, be sure if you do have any quick questions about what to expect or what to prepare for the class, pretty much all our virtual events are typically uh, watch and learn. There's no need to, um, no pressure to be at the sewing machine quilting at the same time. So you definitely um, also have the opportunity to rewatch our videos. Um, all of our virtual videos typically allow you to have a 30 day rewatch period. So that is great news because then you can rewind and replay your favorite parts. If there's certain techniques that Diane mentions, you can rewatch. And Diane, can you hear us? Thank you. I am back. I don't know what happened, but I apologize. Oh, good. We could hear you the um, whole time. <laughs> oh, you could. Could you we hear me could. talking to my son too saying this happens? <laughs> yeah, but you're good. Yeah. <laughs> We love technical difficulties. It's a whole new age though, right folks? So yeah, the spiral, I'm going to have lots of designs 
using the spiral. We're going to use the six points. We're going to use 12 points. We're going to use 18 points and just keep going. And I just want to do a quick recap of all the rulers. This is the six point straight. And these all come in 12 and a half inch sizes. And you can, you know, make smaller blocks. It's no problem. So with the six point, you can do, no, I apologize. This one is the five point. Uh, um, you can do five, 10, 15, 20, and so on rotations. And then we have our eight point, which comes in a smaller size. And it also comes in a larger size. The smaller one is eight and a half inch. That's is out when that day comes and we can start traveling again to take classes. That's a great ruler to take with you. And if you have that ruler, you don't necessarily need the bigger ruler for the eight point because all you have to do is be able to extend your lines out. So you would lay this down, you would put in all your crosshairs, and then you would take a straight edge and you would just bring out all those lines. So if you've got the eight and a half inch, you're good to go with that. And then my favorites, we're going to be doing the little minis. And we have, for these, we have, hang on one second as my rulers go flying off my table. Okay, so for the little minis, we have the five, the six, and the eight, and that all comes in one pack. So that, that's a really good bargain for the small ones. Um, that comes, all three rulers come in one pack. So that's a great one. That's a great one to put in your wish list as well. I hope that everybody has a little better understanding of what we're going to be doing and what we're going to be covering. And I really hope that everybody joins me because I think it's going to be a very informative class and it's going to give you a lot of great ideas. And the beautiful thing with our classes is you get to watch the class for four weeks. So you can watch it over and over and over again. So it really is a very good bargain. Um, to have that available. And then you have, the instructors are always available. I have people that um, will email me and ask me questions. And I absolutely love when they do that. So I hope that you will all join us. And Sarah, any other thing that I am missing that I should be mentioning? Well, I think we pretty much covered everything. I will post the link to sign up again uh, in the comments just so it's there a couple times. Also, you can always see our upcoming classes on our website, sosteady.com, and we have an events page. And you can take a look there, look ahead, and there's links to sign up in that location as well. Beautiful. Well, thank you all for joining Sarah and I. And Sarah, thank you as always for all of your help. Well, thank you, Diane. We can't do it. the class. Definitely. We can't do it without you. We can't have classes without our fabulous instructors. And we look forward to seeing everyone at that class. Again, it is May 5th, and it will be running from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time for the live version. And that benefit is, you know, you can ask questions. You can ask Diane, hey, wh what did you do there? Or help me with this question. So there's that value for the live. And then you get that full 30 days after the May 5th live broadcast to rewatch, rewind, and review all the great tips, tricks, and tools that Diane will be showing you guys on May 5th for the Crazy for Crosshairs virtual class. Great. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.